Sometimes the holiday season can catch you by surprise and when you are a knitter or a crocheter, the best thing about the holidays is making people handmade gifts. But let me tell you, if you're watching this video now in time for 2023 gifting season, you are way too late to make somebody a sweater. So today I'm going to share with you some excellent patterns, both free and paid, that you can knit or crochet this holiday season for your loved ones. Now these are not just socks and scarves and hats. I've got quite a few different patterns on my list that are both fun to gift as well as fun and engaging to make because I don't want you sitting there knitting and stockinette for 12 hours just to give somebody a scarf that they're never gonna wear. So we're gonna make sure that these patterns are engaging and exciting and cute and adorable and useful. First on the list are the World's Simplest Mittens by Tin Can Knits. Now this is a free pattern that you can download the PDF for and Tin Can Knits also has an app where you can select just the size of mittens that you're making. They've got both a kid size plus a small, medium, and large size for adults. You can select that size and then only see the instructions for the one that you have selected. This pattern is knit from the cuff to the fingertips and it's written for any size of yarn that you have. So if you've got a fingering weight yarn, this would be great to use. Chunky, bulky, worsted, whatever size of yarn you have, whatever size of pattern you're making, this is a perfect one for you. Next up in the knitted mittens category, we've got the Luffy Mittens by Lone Kildson. And this is a double knit mitten pattern with a special thumb gusset to better match the anatomy of your thumb. And it's got both child and adult size mittens. Now you will need fingering weight yarn for this one. And it is gonna take a little extra time because essentially you're knitting two mittens for one hand. It's just, you knit them in tandem and then push one inside out and then you've got a double knit. Mitten. This is a paid pattern. It does come in English, Danish, French, and German. Onto the category of crochet mittens, we've got the three hour mittens by the Make and Do Crew. Now this is a bulky weight crochet pattern that looks like a knit stitch. It is made for one size fits most women's hands and you apparently will take only three hours to make this one. You will need an eight millimeter crochet hook and a 12 millimeter crochet hook and about 200 yards of a super bulky yarn. I've made these ones before. They are fairly easy to get the hang of and they fit pretty nice. Next up, we've got the Wanderlust Mittens by Kirsten Holloway. These come in two sizes, both a kid size and an adult size, particularly fitted to men's size of hands. And you will need an Aran weight yarn along with a four millimeter crochet hook. This is a paid pattern, so it's about four US dollars to purchase this pattern, but it crochets up pretty quickly and they look really nice. Let's move on to the category of fingerless gloves because you can't knit when you got mittens on your hands, so fingerless gloves definitely come in handy. Also, you can't text on your phone if you've got mittens, and hence fingerless gloves. So first up, we've got the Fire Pit Mitts by Taylor Earl. Now this is a worsted weight pattern. Suggested yarn is fiber for the people in merino worsted or the Lion Brands Fisherman's Wool. This is a paid pattern, but you do get both the longer tapered mitts as well as the shorter non-tapered fingerless mitts in the pattern. Looks fairly easy. All you need to do is know how to do the knit stitch. Next up, we've got the Everything November Knits by Jen Yard. Now, this is a great pattern if you've got some scrap yarn laying around and you wanna throw it together into a really nice looking project to make a pair of fingerless gloves. This pattern is rated as advanced beginner and you will need a size 2.25 millimeter knitting needle. You will need about a total of 40 grams or 165 yards of your favorite sock yarn or fingering weight yarn to complete this pattern. Next up on the fingerless knitting train, we've got the Spring Frills pattern by Christy Schuler. Now these are not necessarily gloves, but if you've got people with longer arms in your lives and their sleeves never come down, to the proper length on their hands and they're always wanting 
to put their sleeves over their hands. This would be a perfect gift for them. It is a cuff with a frill on the end. I think this makes the perfect addition to any long sleeve or jacket that you wanna add a little more warmth to the arm cuff, but you don't want anything wrapping really around your thumb or anything like that. This is a paid pattern, but I think that it is definitely worth the three US dollars. You will be knitting this with a sport weight yarn, but it is a great way to have a project that just requires one full skein of yarn and you get two amazing frilly cuffs out of it. Moving on to crochet fingerless gloves, we've got the Fingerless Granny Square Mitts <laughs> by Lullaby Melodia for Lullaby Lodge. Now this is a great pattern if you love crochet, you love granny squares, you've got some scrap yarn laying around, and you want to knit a really fun pair of accessory gloves for somebody in your life. Now there is a paid version of this pattern, but it is also available for free on their blog with the ads, of course, on the blog. You'll need a three millimeter crochet hook and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook along with some DK weight yarn. Next up, we've got the Ribbed Fingerless Gloves by Crochet and Create, and this is a very simple, beginner-friendly, free pattern. If you wanna make somebody a pair of fingerless gloves, but you don't wanna deal with any sort of thumb hole shaping or anything along those lines, this is knit flat and then seamed together, crocheted flat and then seamed together to make a pair of fingerless gloves. Moving on to accessories for your head. We've got the classic ribbed hat by Pearl Soho. You've probably heard of this hat before. It is a basic knitted hat, but you can do it in so many different colors and styles and sizes. This would make a perfect gift for somebody whose head always gets cold in the winter time. This pattern is available for free and depending on the size that you're making, you'll need anywhere from 100 yards to 300 yards of your favorite DK weight yarn. Next up in the knitted beanies category, we've got the Rebel Soul Beanie by Kutova Kika. This is one of my favorite YouTube knitters. Um, she makes excellent patterns. I absolutely love this beanie pattern of hers. It's knitted from the bottom up with one strand of mohair and one strand of merino, which gives it a soft and fuzzy look. Now this is a paid pattern, but I think it is totally worth it because a, I love everything that she does, and B, you're obviously supporting a fantastic knitter. Next, we have Flaptastic by Camille Descoteau. Now, this is a beanie with an extra double knit ear flap to keep your ears nice and warm in the chilly winter. This is a paid pattern with sizes newborn all the way up through adult, and you will need to pick your favorite fingering weight yarn for this one. The inner brim of this one is knitted in ribbing while the rest of it is knitted with stockinette. And then you have a cute little I-cord detail on the top for some extra flair and fun. Let's move on to crochet hats, and we've got the Sly Fox hat by Lisa Gutierrez. Now this is a free pattern and an adorable fox hat. If you have any kids in your life that you wanna knit them a gift for, this would be a fantastic fall trend find. It is crocheted with Aran weight yarn, and you will need two size crochet hook, a five millimeter and a 4.5 millimeter. This pattern is crocheted from the top down with shaping for the eyes and the ears, as well as shaping in the bottom for some ear flaps to cover the ears. This would not be a pattern roundup if I did not talk about the queen of crochet herself, TL Yarn Crafts, Tony Lipsy, and the Mesa hat. The Mesa hat is a free pattern, but you can also pay for an ad-free version. The hat also accompanies the Mesa scarf as well. So if you were looking to make sort of a dual package for somebody, then you could make both the hat and the scarf. I do need to note that this is a Tunisian crochet pattern. So not a regular crochet pattern, but a Tunisian crochet pattern. So you do need a sort of specialty hook for this one. Let's move on to neck accessories. Again, starting with the knitted category. We've got the Chunky Cromwell Knitted Scarf by Cindy Williams. Now this is knit with a super bulky yarn and the Fisherman's Rib Knit Stitch. This one will work out pretty fast and you'll get a luxurious, comfy, squishy scarf for the winter time. Next up, we've got the Two Hour Knit Scarf by Lion Brand Yarn. This one is super beginner friendly as it is all in garter stitch. So if you are just learning how to knit, this would be a great project for you. 
This is a free pattern made with bulky yarn or jumbo yarn depending on which one you choose to use. Moving on to neck accessories in the crochet category, we've got the classic ribbed men's scarf by Nikki Jones. This is crocheted with bulky yarn. There is a free version, but you can also purchase an ad free version as well. This one will crochet up super fast because you are using a bulky yarn. And if you're just getting into crochet, this would be a great beginner friendly project for you. If you've got some leftover bulky yarn and you're wondering what to do with it, you can crochet the horizontal stripe scarf by Yarnspirations. Again, bulky weight yarn, so this is going to crochet up super fast and it makes a great colorful project. Moving on to projects for your feet and legs, we've got some beautiful leg warmers called Wasabi by Lucia Ruiz. Now this is a paid pattern that does a little bit of cabling and I think these leg warmers would go great with any sort of winter outfit and if you knit them in wool, they would keep you especially warm. You'll need eight millimeter knitting needles for this one and the pattern is written in both Spanish as well as English. This would be great for an advanced beginner pattern if you wanna learn how to do cable work and you don't want to take on an entire sweater, again, this would be a great place to start to learn. On to crochet leg warmers, we've got this Snowy Lane Leg Warmers by Lion Brand Yarn. Now this pattern was originally published in 2011 and honestly, I think they're in style again today. If you've got some fuzzy yarn and you have no idea what to do with it, here is a pattern for you. It is free. Um, I'm sure this would work up pretty easily, but crocheting into that kind of fluffy yarn does take a little bit extra time just to see where all of your crochet stitches are. But if you're comfortable with that sort of thing, you should have no issue with this one. And this quote is straight from Lion Brand. Over tights or jeans, boot toppers are a chic look that you'll love. We love 2011 and these honestly are making a comeback. Let's move on to home accessories. Now in our knitting category, I'm gonna start with pillows. And this one is the Cuddle Me Cloud Pillow made with a jumbo yarn. You don't necessarily need knitting needles for this one. You can hand knit this one, but I think it's an adorable fluffy cloud pattern. And if there's anybody in your life that likes cute and adorable home decor, this would be a great option for them. This is a free pattern that you can get on the Premier Yarns website. Moving on to crochet pillows, we've got the Heart Pillow by Loops and Love Crochet. Now if you've got a super bulky yarn and you want to crochet a cute little decor pillow for your friend or your family member, this would be a great one as well. Again, a free pattern. You'll need an eight millimeter crochet hook and about 120 yards of a bulky yarn. Now this wouldn't be a Christmas lift if I did not include Christmas ornaments, which are a perfect gift to give around the holiday time. So the first one is the Tiny Tree Socks by Summer Lee Design Co. Now these are adorable. If you have any sort of scrap yarn and you want to knit up something super quick and adorable, this is the perfect pattern for that. This one is a free Ravelry download and you'll need about 26 yards of your favorite fingering weight yarn. Along the same topic of adorable tiny Christmas tree ornaments, we've got the Tiny Sweater by Miriam L. Felton. Now this one is also a free Ravelry download and the pattern is in both English and German. You'll need about 30 yards of a fingering weight yarn for this one. This one is knit just like a raglan sweater where you start from the collar and you increase for the yoke, then you put the sleeves on holders while you finish the body, and then you pick up the sleeves again and finish knitting those. So it's a great project if you've never done a raglan before to understand how that process works, but just in tiny miniature form. Now, if you really like the miniature knitted sweater, but you only know how to crochet, there is a crochet pattern out there for a miniature it's called the Ugly Sweater Ornament by Raffaella Tassoni. Now this one is a free pattern, but you can also purchase the ad-free pattern as well. And again, this is a crochet pattern for the tiny little sweater, which literally absolutely adorable. 
Similar to the previous miniature sweater pattern that I shared, this one is also worked from the top down, but instead of single crochets, you're using V stitches to create the design on this one. So I would say more uh, leaning towards advanced beginner than total beginner for this one. But if you are a beginner in crochet, I think you could get this one done. Next up in the crochet ornaments, we've got the mini stocking by Nastasia. Now Nastasia does a really good job with creating in-depth YouTube tutorials for their patterns. And there is one for this one as well, which I will link along with the free pattern in the description. Again, if you've got any sort of scrap yarn laying around, this would be a great cute ornament to work up. You could also put this one on a pin or a brooch or something like that or even make a pair of earrings. That would be freaking adorable. Moving on to another category, we've got bookmarks. I love books. I love receiving books, but if I don't tell you what books I want specifically, I don't want a bunch of random books, but I do want bookmarks, right? Bookmarks are very useful. So the first one in this category I've got is the bookmark trio. This was published in a Trixie Knitter. Now there are three different bookmarks in here. One is just a simple garter stitch and the other two are open work stitches. So if you are a beginner knitter who is wanting to learn how to do some stitch manipulations, this would be a great pattern for you. It is free and you will need fingering weight yarn for this one. This wouldn't be a pattern roundup if I didn't include stuffies, fluffies, animals, and amigurumi. And first on that list is frog. <laughs> frog by Claire Garland. Now, I don't know who would not want to knit this frog. This is the most adorable thing I have ever laid my eyes on. And I will be knitting one or multiple of these this holiday season. Technically this is a paid pattern, but there is also a YouTube tutorial for this pattern, which is of course free. And the pattern is written in English, German, Japanese, and Korean. Along the theme of Christmas, we've got the three French hens pattern by Susan B. Anderson. This is an adorable knitting pattern. Uh, if you have anybody in your life who likes chickens, perfect pattern, perfect set of hens to knit them for Christmas. They're gonna love them. I love them. Now this one is a paid pattern and you will need about 370 yards of a fingering weight yarn, preferably in three different colors so that you can knit the pattern as it is written, which who doesn't want to knit these hens? If you're a fan of little plushies but you don't know how to knit, there are some amazing crochet patterns for amigurumi and plushies as well. This one is the Dumpling Cat by Sarah Sloyer, and this is a free Ravelry download. You'll need about 60 yards of your favorite yarn to make this one. If you want to add in different colors to make a particular cat in your life, obviously you can do that as well. The Dumpling Cat is crocheted with a flat base and a round body, so you can set them wherever you like and they will just sit upright on your windowsill, on your bookshelf, in your pocket. <laughs> Previous experience with amigurumi is recommended but not necessarily needed for this pattern. Now, if you are a crocheter and you were feeling particularly left out by the frog pattern and how adorable it is, I did find a similar frog pattern that is crocheted. Now this is a paid pattern only and you have to download it on Coffee, which is a trusted website. I have a Coffee account. Um, I love to buy things on there because all of the proceeds go directly to the pattern designer and Coffee doesn't take any sort of fees. And so this is Hopscotch the Frog, designed by Ember Mischief on Coffee. This pattern uses single crochet, double crochet, some increasing pico stitches, and some sewing as well. But if you're comfortable with all of that, I think this would be a great pattern to make. And that wraps up the holiday list that I have for you. Now, my fellow crocheters and knitters, what are you making this holiday season? Have you already finished all of your gifts or are you a last minute creator like me and you're going to power through through the next couple weekends just making as many gifts as you possibly can because I've got a long road ahead of me. <laughs> a lot to make this holiday season. My dad wanted a hat, but he wanted it to have his dog on it, his German Shepherd named Wolfric. So I have to figure out how to make that. 
Um, my husband wanted some knee warmers, so I'm gonna knit those. My brother wanted to get a sweater for his friend, which I don't think I'm gonna have time to knit considering it's November 27th when I'm filming this and I already have two other sweater projects that I wanna finish. Um, I was gonna make some gloves for my sister-in-law, some like fingerless gloves, probably from this list that I just shared with you. And, uh, oh, my brother also wanted like some little neck warmers for his two greyhounds that he has. So I'm gonna knit those two. Okay, well, I should stop filming now and get to knitting. Bye.